Right now at 6, Columbus City leaders are proposing half a million dollars to crack down on violent crime in a popular entertainment district. This comes less than one week after 10 people were injured during a gun battle that broke out in the middle of the short north. This is police body camera video of that chaotic scene on North High Street. Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Andrew Kinsey Yolanda is off. This body camera video is hard to forget. And tonight, Columbus police say you will see a change in the short north this weekend. 10 TV's Lindsay Mills talked to police about what that plan looks like. $500,000 for safety initiatives in areas like the short north. Columbus City Council will take that up on Monday. It's said to be in response to a significant uptick in violent crime. The money would come from the general fund and would go to the Department of Public Safety and to organizations like Short North Alliance and Capitol Crossroads Special Improvement District. That's the long-term proposed plan on the city level. In the short term, police are making changes you will notice right away. Uh, the first thing that we're doing is we're increasing officer presence in the short north. Deputy Chief Elrico Ally says you will see an increase in police presence and there will be officers you don't see working undercover. They are also reallocating officers from other areas to focus on the short north. Also, we're increasing the lighting throughout the short north. Uh, in the short term, we have some temporary lighting that's being installed because criminals hate lights. So if we can light up the area, not only are we deterring those criminals, but we're making sure that we can see everything going on. It's all an effort to prevent something like this from happening again. 911 calls reveal the chaos. I'm in my apartment and it, it sounded like a million gunshots just went off. There are people screaming outside. As BCI investigates the part of this incident that involved police returning fire, police are focused on making sure scenes like this one don't become the norm. Again, that $500,000 proposal is on the agenda for City Council Monday night. Outside City Hall, Lindsay Mills, 10 TV News.